Hello everyone, welcome to Logic Terrain. In this session, we are going to discuss one of the very important questions from NCRT Exemplar from the chapter Real Numbers of class 10th. Here it is our question. The statement of this question is show that the cube of a positive integer of the form 6q plus r q is an integer and r is equals to 0 1 2 3 4 5 is also of the form 6m plus r this is what the question is so here we need to show that cube of a positive integer so let us assume a positive integer a that is of the form 6q plus r here q is an integer which is quotient and r is remainder the remainders are these and also of the form 6m plus r clear so this statement we will prove by using a very famous euclid's division lemma right so for that let us take a b a n e positive integer and b is equals to 6 here a is dividend b is divisor here r values are what 0 to 5 so which are less than 6 so b must be 6 got it since uh, the remainder is always lesser than the divisor clear so here b we have taken 6 now by euclid division lemma what is that a is equals to b q plus r where 0 is lesser than r equals to r is less than b this is simple division rule only okay don't confuse here a is dividend b is divisor q is quotient and r is remainder and we know division rule what is that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder right since b is equals to 6 so this becomes a is equals to 6 q plus r where 0 is lesser than r equals to r is less than 6 got it since b is 6 then the possible values of r must be so r value greater than or equals to 0 means which includes 0 and r value less than 6 so up to 5 so less than 6 so the r equals to 0 1 2 3 4 5 clear now here what we need to prove cube of a positive integer of the form 6q plus r right so for that let us take the positive integer a is equals to 6q plus r and we will cube okay so taking uh, a is equals to 6q plus r and cubing on both sides we get cubing on left side it becomes a cube that is cube of the positive integer and cubing on right side that is 6q plus r whole cube how it is look like it look like a plus b whole cube okay we know a plus b whole cube expansion that is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square right here a is a 6q and b is r you have to assume like that so on expanding 6q whole cube plus r cube plus 3 6 q whole square into r plus 3 6 q r square so on cubing both will be cubed so 6 cube q cube 6 cube into q cube plus r cube here 3 times of 6 square q square because 6 q whole square so this square will be applied for both the numbers both the bases here so 6 square q square into r plus here uh, this uh, we have rewritten as 6 into 3 into q into r square simply we have just uh, changed the place then this becomes a cube is equals to i'm taking 6 common here i'm taking 6 common here we are left with 6 square that is 36 q cube plus here again from this term also on taking 6 common here we are left with 1 6 so 3 times of 6 18 q square r and from here 
and taking 6 common here we are left with 3 q r square 3 q r square plus this r cube plus r cube let us give some number 1 ok this entire solution we will use this equation 1 we have got cube of the integer cube of the positive integer now what are r values r values we have got 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so we have total 6 cases in each case we will check whether the cube of positive integer is of the form 6 q plus or in other words we can say 6 m plus or or not if it is hence it is proved otherwise not clear okay here is case 1 if r is equals to 0 then from equation 1 we get simply substituting r equals to 0 in equation 1 then a cube is equals to 6 times of 36 q cube plus 18 q square into r that is 0 plus 3 q r square that is 0 square plus 0 cube so here 0 into this thing this term becomes 0 0 into this thing this term becomes 0 0 cube is 0 so we have got 6 times of 36 q cube so this we can say a cube is equals to 6 m plus 0 which is nothing but 6 m only here where m is equals to 36 q cube you can see is it look like of the form 6 m plus r but here r is 0 got it here m is some integer okay again here m is some positive integer so cube of the positive integer we have got of the form 6 m plus r but here r is 0 clear any queries fine next case 2 what is case 2 r equals to 1 again uh, then from equation 1 we get on substituting r equals to 1 in equation 1 that is 6 times of 36 q q plus 18 q square into 1 plus 3 q 1 square plus 1 q so 1 times of this remains same 1 times 1 square is 1 1 1 time of 3 q 3 q plus 1 q is 1 now from 6 into something plus 1 this something again we have taken as m where m is equals to 36 q q plus 18 q square plus 3 q so a cube is equals to we have got 6 m plus 1 you can see cube of the positive integer is of the form 6 m plus r but here r is 1 got it now case 3 if r is equals to 2 then from equation 1 we get so on substituting r equals to 2 in equation 1 so a cube is equals to 6 times of 36 q q plus 18 q square into 2 plus 3 q into 2 square plus 2 q 2 cube is 8 so 8 again we can split into 6 plus 2 now this part we are not manipulating anything and uh, in the next step a cube is equals to again in this term we have 6 common here also we have 6 common 6 we can rewrite as 6 into 1 so now from this term and this term we can take 6 common and this becomes this whole stuff plus 1 plus 2 now this we can rewrite as 6 m plus 2 6 m plus 2 where m is equals to this whole thing that is 36 q q plus 18 q square times of 2 plus 3 q whole square plus 1 got it again cube of the positive integer we have got of the form 6 m plus r here r is 2 now case 4 if r equals to 3 then from equation 1 we get simple what we need to do all we have to do is just replace r equals to 3 in equation 1 we have replaced we have got 6 into something plus 3 cube 3 cube is what 27 so 27 here we have split into 24 plus 3 because uh, 24 is multiple of 6 again from these two terms we can take 6 common for that reason here we have uh, split 
this 27 into 24 plus 3 now from this term and this term we have taken 6 common then 36 q q plus 18 q square times of 3 plus 3 q into 3 square plus 4 plus 3 now this is implies a cube is equals to 6 m plus 3 where m is equals to this entire bracket stuff got it so this is also we have got cube of the positive integer of the form 6 m plus r here r is 3 got it now case 5 if r equals to 4 then from equation 1 we get simply a cube is equals to 6 times of 36 q q plus 18 q square times of 4 plus 3 q times of 4 square plus 4 cube simply we are putting r equals to 4 in equation 1 now 4 cube is what 64 so again we are splitting 64 into 60 plus 4 for what i want a number which is multiples of 6 which is multiples of what 6 so 60 is a multiple of 6 6 tens are 60 again from these two terms we can take 6 common then this entire stuff plus 10 plus 4 so this we can rewrite a cube is equals to 6m plus 4 where m is equals to this entire bracket stuff got it so this is also of the form 6m plus r here r is 4 the cube of the positive integer is of the form same now finally case 6 if r equals to 5 then again from equation 1 on putting r equals to 5 in equation 1 then a cube is equals to we have got this plus 5 cube again 5 cube means 125 so this one we are splitting into 120 plus 5 so here 120 is multiple of 6 again from these two terms here we have taken 6 common then this stuff plus 6 times of 20 is equals to 120 plus 5 this we can rewrite as a cube is equals to 6m plus 5 where m is equals to this entire bracket thing all right so again the cube of the positive integer is of the form 6m plus r here r is 5 for all r values we have got cube of the given positive integer is of the form 6m plus r clear so finally what we can conclude therefore from all the above cases we can conclude that the cube of a positive integer of the form 6 q plus r 6 q plus r q is an integer and r is equals to 0 1 2 3 4 5 is also of the form 6 m plus r you can see simply r is 0 in all the six cases 6 m plus 0 6 m plus 1 6 m plus 2 6 m plus 3 and so on like that see we have got same got it so hence proved hence proof clear hope you understood well if you have any queries or requests so please write in the comment section and we'll get back to you and not only this one we have plenty of important questions from the same chapter we have discussed earlier sessions and that playlist i have left in the description please do check it out so this is it for all for this session so we'll see you again in the next video till then take care keep learning bye bye